Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. I am Trevor, joined as always with Thomas. And today we are going to be looking at the guilds, uh, the, the three remaining big guilds. We already had SAG, but we're going to be looking at the Director's Guild, the Writer's Guild, and the Producer's Guild. Um, three major indicators of picture, director, and screenplay. Um, the ceremonies will be coming over the next two weeks spread out, so we just wanted to do a bulk prediction for all of them that each have, I would say, two big categories for the most part. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, so we will be giving our predictions in each of them. Um, I have not ranked any of these, but I'm sure we'll still talk about what's close to each yeah, one. Yeah, I haven't we... ranked them either. No, okay, I've just yeah. got the winners down, yeah. But we have our winners. We can talk about what's close. Um, I say let's just jump straight in. So Okay, okay. Kicking it off, let's talk about the Director's Guild, the one that is closest to us. Director is going to Campion. Yes, it is. Yes. I mean, like, is it worth talking about? Yeah, I don't know. You know I don't um, really think that no. there's any... Yeah, no. like, yeah. Um, the, the only difference between the Oscars is Hamaguchi um, isn't here, and instead they did Volnouf. Yeah. Um, I honestly think Volnouf is the number two. <laughs> But yeah, it probably. doesn't matter anyways. No, like if you Jane look at, Campion is going to win this one. Yeah. If you look at Gold Derby, it's like 1,313 votes for Jane Campion. Next closest is Villeneuve with 46. So like, yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. just so I mean, obviously yeah. Jane Campion. There's not much, you know, conversation to have, to, to have here. You know, Critics' Choice were... The ones who did tie Bong Joon Ho and Sam Mendes back when there there was a clear front runner and then that changed. It wasn't DGA. DGA did go with the front runner then, and that and, front runner was Jane Campion. And there's no shot that Curtis Slice even does no. something weird like that. Exactly, exactly. And if they did, it would be with Villeneuve, so yeah. it'd be irrelevant. Like mm. it's Campion. Yeah. All right. Debut uh, director. I think it's first time direct. I, I I don't entirely know what the proper name of the category is. According mm-hmm. to DGA, but it's it's debut really? feature, yeah. first feature. You know what it is, ball. yeah. So my heart is Emma Seligman, my brain <laughs> is Maggie Gyllenhaal, and meeting them in the middle is Lin Manuel Miranda Tick Tick Boom. So I'm going to be predicting the upset. Okay, I have gone with Gyllenhaal, um, yeah. purely because she's won a lot of these awards. You know, yep. We've seen it really be between Gyllenhaal and Rebecca Hall. Um, Lima Miranda's name hasn't really been in the conversation, and that's because, I mean, a lot of people don't view him as a first-time director. Be like, yes, he is a first-time director, but equally, his name is very like apparent in a lot of these projects. You know, a lot of people may have mistaken him for directing in The Heights or Hamilton or all of these kind of things. So his name's never really been in the conversation. So I do think it will be Maggie Gyllenhaal in that regard. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I think Lynn could make sense. He's very well respected, though. Uh, he is. Especially within, like, the industry. And these are the industry awards. These are given out by directors, to directors. Equally, Meg Villanueva and Rebecca Hall are also very respected. Um, but I think that Tick, Tick, Boom is the strongest of the three films as far as industry support. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it, it got into PGA, Lost Daughter did not. So no, yeah, think... that's the case that could be made, but equally, my as as you said, my brain is telling me to go for Mag yeah. Hall. and when it comes to predictions, I go with my brain. She is yes. like John Hall is the very obvious front runner choice. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I want I wanted to go with an upset, so I I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Lynn. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens with it. Um, but yeah, I it. Like, it's not going to be Cernowski, Seligman, or Huezo. No. It's really between no. these top three. Um, and I honestly would even, be surprised to see yeah. any of the three. Yeah. I'd even maybe put Lim Amon Miranda as number two because we've really seen, like, a competition between Jillian Hall and Rebecca Hall. And we've seen Jillian Hall come out on top most times when those two yeah. have competed. So it is good that she is a bit stronger. We haven't seen, however, Lim Amon Miranda and Maggie Jillian Hall face so off against each did. other. They did at the HCA Awards in Lin One. Okay, but that's like the first time, I guess. You know, we haven't got a consistent, you know, yeah, evidence behind Lin Manuel Miranda being better than Maggie Gyllenhaal, whereas we do for Gyllenhaal versus Hall. 
yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But just uh, I, I figured you'd go Jalen Hall, so I, I wanted I wanted to do something different because I feel like we're <laughs> we're probably going to align, uh, especially on this next one, PGA. PGA, yeah. Um, three, two, one. It's the power, power of dog. the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, could something insane happen? I guess. I guess yeah. something weird like Coda, West Side Story, Belfast. I'd say those are the next. Three. I'd say Coda would be the one to. Yeah. Oh, to no, Coda is definitely the, yeah. the one to upset here. Yeah. So, sure. I guess that could happen, but yeah. it's it's power of the dog. It's, yeah, it's, the thing is, like, we were predicting upsets for the nominations, like Spider-Man No Way Home. Maybe that's in there. And they're mm-hmm. Maybe that's in there. They clearly said, no, we're not doing that. We're going with who were, at the time, the 10 frontrunners for the Oscars. Obviously, that changed as being Ricardo's and Tick Tick Boom didn't end up being in it. But they were pretty solidly, like, favourites to get into the category. Um, so they went with Oscar frontrunners. Like, why would they go with a massive upset? Yeah. I don't know. Coda, maybe a more PGA friendly film, but equally, I mean, we saw Power of the Dog get an Oscar fan favorite. There is a lot of beha- passion behind that film, and like anyone saying, "Oh, it's only film critics," can get behind. Exactly, exactly. It's not. It's clearly so, not a film only critics can get behind. So yeah. you know, you have to predict it. Like if they did like Trial last year or something over Nomadland, then maybe I'd be like, okay, maybe Coda, maybe Coda could happen. But no, they did Nomadland. Um, mm. It's I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they did 1917 over Parasite, but like, still, I feel very good about Power of the Dog winning here. Though, yeah. I think that this is much more likely to upset than DGA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, animated PGA animated. Um, I mean, should we say this one on three again? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Encanto. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like my my god, could this be any easier? Like Flea wasn't nominated. Could they do Mitchell's? I guess. But I, I don't know if PGA. I don't know if PGA are the place to do Mitchell's. Critics Choice Critics maybe choice, you, can make, yeah. you can make more of a case for Mitchell's, but PGA I think it's fairly solidly gonna be in Canto. Unless you know that fan favourite vote for Sing Two swings the whole race. You know, no. wide widens it open. No, it's gonna Five be Canto. people chose it on Gold Derby. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, no, this is, this is so very obviously in Kanto. It is the biggest animated film of the year. So PGA is going to go for it. It's just, yeah. it's, it's so obvious um, that this is in Kanto. Um, we could touch on documentary a little bit. Like, I think it's obviously mm-hmm. Summer Soul. Yeah, we both um, be predicting Summer Soul, yeah. We, we've, we've talked about it before. Um, I don't think it's. It's that necessary to mention again that Summer of Souls just the front runner right now. We'll see if BAFTA the Air Critics Choice does flee, but as no. Yeah. Summer. As as we said, like with Encanto winning animated, PGA is not really the place that are gonna go for an upset in these kind of categories. Yeah. It's probably gonna be Summer of Soul. hundred percent, hundred percent. All right. Especially since they didn't even nominate Flea for animated. That that right. also just Right, yeah. 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 All right, lastly, WGA. This is where some interesting stuff could happen because Belfast and Power of the Dog are ineligible. They were not nominated. Um, so, original screenplay, what have you gone for? I've gone for Licorice Pizza, <laughs> the front runner, the favorite. I have also gone with Licorice Pizza. I think that Don't Look Up could happen. Um, that would be my number two here. That would because... be my number two here. So McKay won and won the Oscar for the Big Short, right? Um, I'll trust you on that one. I'm pretty sure I'll double check myself. Um, well, well the, when I throw it over to you to talk, but assuming that's happened, I know that WGA has never given him an award. Um, so maybe they play overdue with McKay. Yeah, I mean maybe. Yeah, there's a chance for that. Like I would say. It doesn't have much of a shot at the Oscars. I mean, you can check out our full thoughts at the Oscars prediction video. That, that is, that is, is it out? Is that out now? Yes, that is out. That cool. Is out. There we go. Check out that. And yes, the um, Big Short did win. The, he won okay. the adapted screenplay for Big Short at the Oscars. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, there's more of a case that could be made for Don't Look Up winning here than at the Oscars, especially since Belfast is not in the running. So, it's the number two. Um, you know, French Dispatch doesn't stand a chance. Being the Ricardo's. 
didn't get the Oscars nomination, so it's not going to win here. King Richard, again, I doubt it will win here. It won't gain enough momentum. So it is really between Donut Cup and Licorice Pizza, but equally the front runner is Licorice Pizza. So it's probably the one you should be predicting. Yeah. Also, by the way, I lied. He also won for the big short at WGA. So yeah, this is just this is just PK. Yeah, okay. There you go. Um, I, I'll double check myself before I say anything here. But uh, yeah, he hasn't won a WGA before. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's overdue. He, he's you can apply the same logic as you can for the Oscars. PTA makes the most sense. I still wouldn't be surprised if those don't look up. You know, I'll, I'll switch my argument and say since he's a previous winner, that yeah. <laughs> that that, that okay. could also be a thing. I don't see anything else winning, but no. who knows? Maybe don't look up could happen. Maybe, but yeah, it's just it's best to go with the safe pick here with Lucas Pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, adapted yeah. screenplay. I think this is Coda. I think it's fairly obviously Coda, to be honest, because. It, I doubt it'll be June. Is so it it's a lost daughter. No, exactly. Lost, lost daughter's not possible. in. Yeah. You know, Power of a Dog's not in. So, Coda, whether Coda's number two or the number three, you know, that's a that's more of a debate you could have. Like that, this is lost daughter. Um, but equally, that doesn't matter here because Coda is by default the number one. Like June's not going to win. Nightmare Alley, I'd be very shocked if Nightmare Alley won. Tick Tick Boom didn't get the Oscar Best Picture. It's not going to win. West Side Story. You know, it's probably not going to win either. Coda, this is code of the war to lose. Yeah. Now, Les Story has had a bit of a surge on Gold Derby. It's up to over 200 votes now, contrary to Coda's 700. Um, and I think that's probably because it just dropped on Disney+. Plus. But WG Ending voted before West Side Story dropped on Disney+. Plus. So, mm. yeah, this is just... Coda makes the most sense. If we see something else happen then we can stop even thinking about Coda for winning Adapted or Picture. Yeah. Like, Coda, if it, if Coda wants any chance of pulling off the upset uh, at the Oscars for Adapted Screenplay and then it maybe Picture, it, it has to win WGA. It has to. Mm-hmm. So, if it, it, like, what we'll see, but, like, Coda needs this win. I think it will get the win to like stay alive. It should do. It should do. But yeah. I think it could be close. I I, I like because like we haven't really I seen know, what's number two though, like here. Like I think it's West Side or Dune. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but it's not equally, the Boomer Night Rally. No. no. I actually do maybe. think original screenplay is tighter here than it is than it is for no, no, agreed I agreed it. yeah yeah it's, Coda, just, Coda know, it's weird for Coda to win a screenplay prize because like i like the movie a lot but i didn't think the screenplay was really the strongest element i thought it mostly lied in the performances so mm-hmm. like the screenplay's a fairly predictable like high school coming of age film um i think i mean it just it has like it's fun moments but like I know it, it. It feels weird for it to win. I'm. I won't complain about it winning. Mm-hmm. I, I. I like it well enough. It's just. It would be a bit strange, but if it wins here, it definitely has the support. And like, yeah. I think we can all definitely admit to ourselves that it has at least a shot and adapted. But we can't get crazy and start predicting it to win because it still hasn't gone up against Power of the Dog, yeah. even if it wins yeah. here. So we'll have to see what happens at Critics Choice and at BAFTA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But those are our predictions for the guilds PGA, WGA, DGA. Uh, we will be reacting uh, to to these ceremonies. Probably not live. We'll probably be doing breakdowns just because all of them are two categories. Um, yeah. so there wouldn't be that much to do a reaction on, but we will be doing breakdowns of each of these categories as they come out. And you can see our um, see our thoughts on what they mean for the Oscars. But until then, Thomas, where can everybody find you? You can find me at Payment Pictures and on Letterbox at Thomas Gladstone. You can find me on YouTube at The Basement, uh, Twitter at TM Tux Movies, uh, Letterbox at Trevor Matson, and on The Bananimator. Until next time, stay safe, everybody, and goodbye.